Hello everyone, it's Alina. I shared some thoughts in the last video on dealing with challenges, struggles and letting go and just letting the universe support you. Well, I did not get finished the part on time, how to balance your time and make it work efficiently for you. So I would like to just continue on that note. So if you have 86,400 in the bank right now and you've been told that it's all going to be gone tonight what would you do or not even tonight it's gonna to be gone right now what would you do I give you three seconds to think about it one two three if your answer is do nothing you're right well we have 86,400 seconds Per day and guess what it goes by like that if we do nothing right it's a fact well our lifespan is well according to the new census I think it can reach up to 80 now I think so if we live to 80 if our lifespan is 80 then we spend 25 years asleep five years trying to sleep 11 years watching tv five years eating one year exercising well if you're on a regular exercise if you have a good exercise routine you can probably give yourself two to three years and two years sitting in the toilet this was the funniest research i've read on the especially the toilet okay so where are you in this category well i would say be grateful for the time you have because no one knows what tomorrow brings. So the time you have, which is the present moment right now, you can use that to create balance in your life. Well, the new year for many of us started off on a high note, right? We had all these goals set, made our res yearly resolutions. And especially for January, um, many of us would set the goals for a losing weight at so 10 kilos, um, launching a podcast, launching webinars, and many things like creating your online business, building better relationships, and creating, uh, making um, phone calls, uh, for example, cold calling to attract new clients, um, increasing your revenue, perhaps 50%, and much more. So where are you today? Well, I have had many struggles. I didn't achieve some of my goals. And in the last videos, you could clearly see what happened to me. I wanted to give up. So I am sure many of many of you out there, like your goals fell through the cracks or resolution fell through the cracks at some point. Something did not click, something didn't happen. But th there are things that can happen to you. Um, and if you just let it be, it will come back to you. It will come. It will happen. It did from my experience. I'm telling you, it, it works. But there are some things that if we procrastinate and we don't put our foot one foot in front of the other, it's not going to work. And our brain is fine. Our subconscious, the Frankenstein brains, will not expand any energy for us it will hold us in a stuck mode so if you were stuck last year and you tried to change your habit this year it takes at least a minimum 99 days to three 99 days to start to change your habit and 365 days to really create an overall change and that becomes like a bit innate and by default you'll be doing these things and make it part of your life change it becomes your autopilot okay so these habits that you can build but we are the end of january it's the last day and if you haven't yet accomplished what you have set out well it's not too late and just give yourself you know if you have accomplished some Give yourself a pat on the shoulder, go celebrate with your best friend, your children, your family. And every win, every small win, it's not about perfection at all. It's actually getting the stuff done. That is what matters. And uh, many of you know, Switzerland is, is perceived to be the perfect country.
country, but it's not at all. I can tell you that from my experience. And I truly uh, disagree with making everything perfect. I, my kids are on this journey of everything has to be perfect, but I, I really try to help them and support them and educate them that perfectionism is not the key to success. You have to learn from your mistakes. You have to have failures and you have to be able to accept them. So there's some things that, you know, some steps we can take if you haven't yet accomplished what you're set out to, uh, to accomplish for this month and ongoing. Well, now there is no perfect time, okay? So progress is not perfection. You just have to commit. So make a considered effort to commit, okay? Don't lose uh, time from time. You can also learn from time and that means so for example, you know, your time is really precious. Uh, you go on social media to really look for one thing and then you end up spending hours on it. So be aware of this, uh, the time you spend Netflix in, <laughs> or if you're on the train, use this time, utilize the time to even educate yourself and uh, for um, self-development. You can, there are so many free tools uh, out there and podcasts. Uh, some courses, some free online trainings, certain universities you can take while you're on the train. If you're on a long train ride, going to work or on a trip or something. Uh, this is something I would like to share from my experience with uh, parents, uh, with kids. Um, from my experience, I remember those long trips I would make with the kids um, while the daddy would drive. I'm in the back with the kids and we would do... Um, we had the Atlas, we had some educational books like show and tell and also questions and answers like in different categories like science, um, um, with science, arts, culture and across the board and it was very exciting for the kids but I know kids nowadays like what are they doing? They are just, <laughs> they are just like, yeah it's very difficult to break their habit because that's what yeah they're allowed to do and they're we as parents yes yeah, difficult road for us but if you are able to do this with your kids these things can become habits it's exciting for them and how they can really develop themselves and utilize what they have their resources their brain i mean we really use just about five percent of our conscious brain and most of it is everything is in the subconscious so just uh, pay attention to that and perhaps you can help your kids to to make that change but okay so going forward so think of the time of the day and and just don't waste the time just make it valuable make every single day valuable and everything that you do counts and matters and even if you're serving your purpose also take care of yourself so the next thing is really setting i would say deadlines and in order to maximize your time have an accountability partner or you can be accountable to yourself that's really important I love having an accountability partner I've had it for many years and um, right now I don't have one because I think I've achieved most of the, the deadlines I've set the, those goals and but I have continuous mentorship which I love and um, with a, an accountability partner you can meet once a week and just share the things that you you know held each other accountable for and just go back to work and get your stuff done, which is really nice because you can exchange really brilliant ideas. Another way of doing this is also having a mastermind group. So these are some things that you can really, you know, make the little changes, very small changes that really reaps. You can actually gain big results in the end for the long term. Okay, next is have a system that works for you. And this means um, batching things together. Say for example, you have, for me, like podcasting, I'm a podcaster as well, and I would take one day of the week or two days to do everything just related to podcasts, only interviews, um, editing, releasing them in the newsletter. These things take time and also you can work with your virtual assistant if you have one. I am dreaming of a great virtual assistant one day. So do use this time and batch it and if you have also say for example um really high end like goals to achieve 
uh, just take one day and just work on that only. Or if you can split it up in four, high, medium, low, and just not really significant, you can work in that order as well. So it's really a great way to, to maximize your time and create that balance. And then you would have the space for yourself, that time, where you can indulge a bit in nature, which nature gives you so much, and have some plants around too, that if you really genuinely waste time, talk to a plant, I tell you, <laughs> it's so powerful. It really can help you to uplift your mood as well when you talk to the plant. I, I'm here alone and I, I don't have co-workers with me. So when I go to the office, that's the only time I like really connect to human beings or if I meet a friend for coffee or something. But for the most part, I'm always connecting to nature and nature is so powerful. So if you need some help there and how to unravel and to get unstuck and go into nature so that you can utilize your time better, you can drop a comment in and just let me know. Say yes and I will help you, okay? I will support you on your journey. So the next thing is the last one, okay? What is your view of yourself? and we, how we really see ourselves. What is the self-image we have for ourselves? Are we like crying ourselves down? I'm not good enough. I am fearful, I am sad, I, am, I can't do this because I don't have the skill set. I am afraid to ask for help. And many of the things that really leaves an imprint in our subconscious that really debilitates us from really, or, or inhibit our true potential, living our true purpose and our true life and really, um, you know, exploring all that greatness that comes from within. So if you view yourself as a confident person, a person who is happy and energized and really a person who is willing to learn, I am a, a, an easy learner, I am willing to be curious, I am curious about life. I am willing to accept my mistakes. I am willing to, you know, be accountable for, you know, these things that I make, I, I, I write down, I actually start a project. I am accountable for it. So these are some of the things that can help you if you put it into practice every single day. And it's just small steps, small changes, big results. I hope it made a difference in your life and I truly hope that you can get back on track uh, if you fell somewhere along in January month and you want to start all over again, it's not too late. So good luck and much success to you on your journey. For those of you who have accomplished everything, well, God bless you and I'm truly happy for you if you were able to accomplish everything in January. Keep going, never ever give up. You know, there's a great book, which I love, Shoot Dog uh, by Phil Knight. Just do it. <laughs> love it. It's absolutely a great book to read if you, have, if you would like to read. And you know what? If you can read one hour every single day, it's the most important thing to do. Well, I read like 10 books at one time, but it's so, it's so exciting. I jump from business to like science, non, non, non-fiction, you know, like it just quite a genre. And I feel <laughs> it just stimulates my brain. I'm very curious. And yeah, so here's how I'm going to end this with you. Stay healthy. This is from, this is matcha from my superfood line. And I'm from time to time, I'm going to be you know, like talking about the superfoods and healthy, like also skincare as well. So stay tuned for this. And if you were interested in matcha, well, matcha, the benefits of matcha really is so powerful. It's one of the most amazing drinks. You can have superfoods as well. It contains high antioxidants and it also helps with your metabolism, like boost your metabolism and also um, accelerates, uh, you know, the weight loss process, you know, slim down and also for brain health, gives you clarity, mental focus and, you know, stay, it, it improves cognition and also gives you a, an amazing amount of energy. So you want to boost your energy and start off the day, instead of grabbing the coffee, drink matcha. Okay, so you can find a matcha on my um, on my website, selinaswissorganic.com. 
okay and check it out you'll see all the benefits i got some recipes as well so here's to you very good in its purest form have a wonderful day and keep going never give up